John Amos, the actor whose characters in Good Times, Roots, and the Mary Tyler Moore show lent the 1970s a solid share of its two few portrayals of strong black male role models, has passed away in Los Angeles of natural causes. He was 84 years old. His August 21st passing announced by son Kelly Christopher Amos had not been disclosed until yesterday. Wow. So T-Squad, John Amos passed away on August 21st, which is my birthday. His son wrote, it is with heartfelt sadness that I share with you that my father has transitioned. Kelly Christopher Amos said in a statement, he was a man with the kindest heart and a heart of gold, and he was loved the world over. Many fans consider him their TV father. He lived a good life. His legacy will live on in his outstanding works in television and film as an actor. My father loved working as an actor throughout his entire life, most recently in Suits LA playing himself and our documentary about his life journey as an actor, America's Dad. He was my dad, my best friend, and my hero. Thank you for your prayers and support at this time. Now, at first I wasn't tripping off the fact that it's been almost a month and a half and we're just not finding out that he passed. I was like, you know, maybe his family wanted to deal with it privately before they took it publicly. You know what I'm saying? But then you guys, it came out that his daughter didn't even know her father passed. She found out about it just like we did in the news yesterday. Yeah. Daughter posted this very touching video of her and her father dancing with each other. Her name is Shannon Amos and she wrote, I am without words. Our family has received the heartbreaking news that my dad, John Allen Amos Jr. transitioned on August 21st. The Shade Room writes that Shannon Amos shares that she learned about her father's passing 45 days after his transition like the rest of the world. She also shared a post from her god sister expressing the same sentiments and her god sister spoke on other family members just finding out the news as well and claims that john's son did not tell them we are continuing to keep john's loved ones lifted in prayer during this difficult time now what kind of sick mess is that that you don't tell your siblings that their father has passed away and then on top of that you let them find out via the media? Like what is going on in this family? Like that is craziness to me. What? Wow. Now I see somebody in the comment section saying, are y'all missing the part that the brother kept Mr. Amos from communicating with his family? Remembering in the last two years, that story came out about potential elder um, youth. If the person who's caring for an individual does not give that person access to anyone, how do you expect them to know anything about the individual's life? Now, I don't know anything about this supposed alleged elder Ashmuse. If that was going on, that is terrible. But it seems like that the son did keep his father away from his siblings or something. I don't know what's going on, but that is so weird and mean to do that. You know, like my daddy been gone for 45 days off this earth and I didn't even know. I didn't even get to say goodbye. I didn't even get to go to the funeral or the cremation or anything. Like that is crazy. Crazy. Now his Sister Shannon also wrote, we are devastated and left with many questions about how this happened 45 days ago, learning about it through the media like so many of you. This should be a time of honoring and celebrating his life, yet we are struggling to navigate the wave of emotions and uncertainty surrounding his passing. Still, there is some semblance of peace in knowing my father is finally free. My family and I deeply appreciate the outpouring of love, calls, and texts. Please continue to hold our family in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. That's crazy. Aid Room also just reported that John Amos passed 
on August 21st due to congestive heart failure. No autopsy was performed and he was cremated nine days later on August 30th. His son, Kelly Amos, is in possession of the ashes, reports state. So that contradicts the initial report that Deadline put out that I read in the beginning of this video that he died of natural causes. Wow. So the son got his ashes, didn't contact the family or anything. Like, I'm wondering if there was any money left over. Has he already scooped it up, <laughs> you know, and made sure that could nobody else get a hold to it? That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But John Amos was a handsome man with that nose. He was a handsome little chocolate thing. He was a very nice looking man. And if things couldn't get any weirder, this young lady posted a picture of her and John together on what looks like Facebook and wrote, rest in peace to a legend, John Amos. Remember, I put this cootie cat on you so good this day, you could barely move. This, this, this is, this is, this is so weird. Because first of all, we don't even know if she's telling the truth. It could literally be a fan taking a picture with him. But even if she is telling the truth, like, this is so disgusting. So uncouth. What? Like, uh, this man got a cane sitting with him in his chair. <laughs> what is Oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. I mean, he was still in good shape. He was still in good shape. Got to give him that. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I just can't. I just cannot. What is happening with the world? What is happening? Like, everybody needs to go to bed and wake up and try again. I'm praying for his daughter and the rest of the family members that are just finding out yesterday. Ugh, this is crazy. What do y'all think? What do y'all make of this? Because, like, I'm speechless. I don't even really honestly know what to say or what to think. I would feel, like, honestly so violated if my brother did that to me or my sister did that to me. Where my father passed and didn't even tell me and then I had to find out via the blogs and the news, you know, sources. Like, that is diabolical. Like, you really must hate your siblings to do some mess like that. It's so selfish and inconsiderate of other people's emotions and feelings. And then I don't, I can't speak for that man, but I'm thinking that he probably wouldn't have wanted it to be that way. Based on that video we just watched of John and his daughter dancing with one another, it seems like he loved his daughter, that they had a very dear and sweet relationship. So I would think that he would have wanted for his children to know that he'd passed on. Like, that is crazy. I don't trust the son. I think the son needs to be investigated because how we know he ain't none alive. I'm like, when you moving like that, I just can't trust nothing that you say or do at this point. Like, everybody in the family that didn't know needs to jump him. <laughs> like, real talk. He need his ass kicked for this. That is disgraceful. Really, honestly, truly, it is. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think about all this because I am stunned, okay? Let's talk about it. Please make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.